Okie dokie, so let's get straight into it. You've heard so often that healthy food is so expensive. How do I be healthy on a budget? You have to choose either or, and that's why so many people resort to fast food because they think that it's just genuinely gonna break their bank. I'm gonna show you that you can. So I did a quick grocery haul. I was like, okay, let me do my weekly shop. Let me show people exactly how to live healthy on a budget. So one thing that we're gonna talk about is my pantry staples. Cheap, easy, and it's fast to throw a meal together. You got chickpeas. Now chickpeas, you can use in a chickpea curry, you can use it in a stew, you can use chickpeas in a salad. It's amazing, you can make hummus with it. So easy, there are tons of recipes online and I'll link a few down below. Next thing we have is lentils. Now remember, we're talking about being healthy. So you got iron in here, you got vitamin B12, you got something hearty, something filling. Lentil bolognese is my favorite. I did a video on budget lentil recipes and I've got lentil meatballs, lentil bolognese, lentil stew on it. It is one of my favorite. Again, high in protein, really filling, and super cheap, and it lasts. So if you don't wanna eat it straight away, you are fine. Next thing I have here, whoops is olives. Now olives are great, high in fat, and they keep you full for a lot longer. So throwing olives in a salad or just snacking if you're hungry on some olives, it is amazeballs. Next thing I have here is my coconut flour and a case of coconut, she got there in the end. And those are really nice to thicken up smoothies or to even make pancakes with. It's healthy, it's high in fat, once again, high in fiber, low in calories, gluten free. Next thing I have is some quinoa. Now you can make, you can like cook this major thing of quinoa at the beginning of the week and then you know you could add it to salads. You can have it in a meal on its own with your favorite piece of lean protein. If you're vegan, then have it with some tofu. If you're not vegan, have like quinoa with a steamed piece of fish or chicken on the side. And again, it's healthy, it's cheap, and it, you can buy it in bowls. So they're really nice to make butter bowls as like a base so you can Put some quinoa in the bottom, you can add some sweet potato. Next thing we're gonna talk about, sweet potato is amazing as well, just to batch cook at the beginning of the week, or you just have one full baked sweet potato stuffed with beans, or whatever you like to stuff your potatoes with. Again, these are really high in vitamin A, they're a healthy carb, they're really easy, just to, and they're so cheap, so freaking cheap, guys. Next thing we have got, I just like, you know, these are in season. That's my next tip is make sure you stay seasonal with your foods. Now, if you're seasonal, then they're a lot cheaper. Now, a really good thing to do is buy in bulk when something's in season and then freeze it. That's what I do a lot, especially with things like strawberries. Next thing is I have full zucchini. Like, doesn't this look like a weapon? I'm just like, here. Okay, so we got the full zucchini, that is great, that is easy to like bulk up stews, bulk up meals, to cook again, batch cook at the beginning of the week. I freaking love this, guys, and it can thicken up smoothies. Now, pre-cut pumpkin is a gift, because I even, I got a whole pumpkin as well, because I thought it looked really pretty, but the truth is pre-cut pumpkin is awesome, because sometimes I'm too lazy to cut the whole one, and then I use it as an excuse not to do it. This was only one euro for this cut one. Again, you can batch cook it at the beginning of the week, add it into bowls, do whatever you please. Because I'm a bit of a pumpkin fiend right now, I'm making pumpkin spice lattes with it, like pumpkin spice smoothies, where you like just mix everything up. It gets, it's so exciting. Guys, it is pumpkin season. Get excited. I got an apple, they're a really nice snack. They're really nice to have with peanut butter on the side. Staples, you don't have a lot of time. You grab an apple when you walk out the door with like a protein bar or whatever you want. Again, awesome. Next thing, budget friendly, we have got bananas. Bananas are always one of the cheapest things in the grocery store, high in potassium, high in magnesium. So if you're crapping after the gym or something, maybe you wanna add bananas to your diet. And my keto friends, bananas aren't the devil. Shazam. Next thing I have is my nuts that I love to snack on. So nuts, healthy, fats, like they're just, and if you get the raw nuts as well, they're a lot cheaper and they're really good for you. Having like an apple with a handful of nuts as a snack is one of the best things you can do. And again, so low priced. Next thing I have got here 
is my oats. Now, oats are really awesome to make overnight oats with, to put in your smoothies. They're hearty, they're filling. They stay really, really long in the pantry without spoiling. Next thing is a broth. Now, a broth is something where you can just throw, for example, I can throw that broth with my zucchini, with my pumpkin and my sweet potato, and there I have a vegetable stew. Boom. Next thing, I have almond milk, which I put in my smoothies, coffees. It's not expensive for any plant-based milk, whichever floats your boat, and it kind of adds a bit of something extra. You know, like when you just feel like, I want a zhuzh. Salad, lettuce, and kale. Now again, for quick salads on the go, whatever you want, you just throw this with some of the steamed pumpkin and some of the olives, and there you have it with a handful of nuts, and you've actually got a tasty salad. Next thing I have got is, I'm like going as quickly as I can because I'm like, guys, we got a lot to get through, is we have got some tahini, which is lovely to drizzle on salad dressing, and I have got some peanut butter. The thing to do with the peanut butter is you add it in things like overnight oats, you can add it on top of things like rice crackers, which guys, again, it costs next to nothing. Look at it, we're being healthy. We have so many snacks for the week, and we have three meals a day, literally doing nothing, so you're welcome. Next thing I have, I get the pre-zoodle zucchini because I hate cleaning my zoodle machine. I freaking guy bane of my existence. I'm one of those people that manages to spill all over myself every single time I clean. I don't know why. Um, next thing I have is frozen strawberries. Again, I want a quick smoothie on the go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some frozen strawberries with a banana and then maybe some peanut butter and yeah, some almond milk. There you have a smoothie snack on the go. Throw in some nuts there as well for some healthy fats. Go crazy, the world is your oyster. Then I have some tofu that I love to put with like cauliflower rice. I just grate a cauliflower and there and then you have a meal. So even adding tofu, grated cauliflower rice, some soya sauce, you make some sort of stir fry. So, so easy, quick and efficient, guys. Or you have a full salad, putting apple with lettuce and like any type of salad thing. It's just, it's so hearty, it's so fun. And yeah, so as you can see, there are so many different sweet and savory options, snacks and main meals, and it was all done on a budget. And I hope this was a little bit helpful. I know I spoke really fast, but go through this video, see what you need to see. and. If you want like a specific one on a keto diet, then I will do another one of those for you. Just let me know what type of haul you need. If it's for family meal ideas, like I said, you've got a whole week of shopping here. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content. I'm uploading videos three times a week now. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.